<laughs> Suits on. Boots, radio, gloves, and air tank. These guys are ready. The shed those upstairs once you come out of the DSL. They're going to stay in there. They're entering this Colchester building, knowing they could be walking into hazardous materials. Once we're in suit, let's not waste time. Keep our eyes and ears open. It looks like serious business, but it's a part of a training for the Vermont National Guard and Army members partnered with the Vermont Department of Health Laboratory. What we try to do and respond to are things of accidental nature and uh, to some degree it's not intentional. Specifically cleaning up spills and preventing contamination. It's a pretty intense training process. These suits alone get up to 110 degrees, coupled with spending up to two to three hours hampered inside. Roughly 90% humidity. It's a Ziploc bag. So you're just sealed in. That's why medical officer Lieutenant Colonel Mike Korzakowski's job is extremely important, even in exercise scenarios. I'm constantly monitoring them for signs of you know, fatigue, dehydration, anything like that, uh, as well as are they coming across anything that could be potentially hazardous, which is their job. It's a grueling practice, but this team says it's all worth it, and they couldn't be more thankful for the local partners who helped make it happen. Within the state itself, we want to ensure that they realize and know the type of capabilities we do have that we can offer them. And that's very important to me. In Colchester, Zuri Hoffman, NBC5 News.